Atwater prairie chicken is one of the most endangered birds in, the, in North America. Originally in the early 1900s, there were close to a million birds occupying land from the Louisiana border down to Corpus Christi. This part of Texas really started to develop. During that time, a lot more of the areas were used for agriculture and rice farming. Rice farming is great for waterfowl, but not so good for prairie chickens. The most recent count of wild Atwater prairie chickens took place last winter. That study found 100 of the birds living outside of captivity. But even that figure wouldn't be possible without the work being done by the Houston Zoo. We have been cooperating with other institutions for the past 20 years in captive breeding for release back into the wild. Meaning the zoo has a flock of prairie chickens which are actually located on the grounds of Johnson Space Center. Those chickens are there to breed. As they nest, we collect their eggs. We bring all of the eggs back to the Houston Zoo. We then hatch and raise all of those eggs. After they hatch, we usually try to release them around the time that they're at least six weeks old. So we do releases from about July to the first part of September. Once the birds are healthy enough to be released into the wild, they're set free at the Atwater Prairie Chicken Refuge located in Eagle Lake, 70 miles west of Houston. We've been working on this program for about 20 years, and in all honesty, the first 15 of those years was really figuring out just how to breed them in captivity. This most recent release was really notable because it's the highest number of birds that we've released in the history of the captive, popu captive breeding population. So we released almost 370 birds this year. Zoo officials are optimistic when it comes to the future of the Atwater Prairie chicken. We've really made a lot of headway. So what we hope to achieve over the next few years is to get consistent breeding and raising of chicks in the wild so that they can start repopulating themselves. For Houston Public Media News, I'm Edel Howland.